Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This loading screen right here tells us Bundesliga Team of the Season is coming today in FIFA Ultimate Team. And I want to talk about these players that are on the loading screen, possibly what players those are, uh, talk about the promotion that is coming today, and the end of La Liga Team of the Season. I want to talk about all of that today in this video. Talk about the predictions for the squad that be could be coming out today for Bundesliga and of course, um, the content that we could be getting today as well. But right as we loaded into FIFA, of course, we did see that loading screen. This is the loading screen that EA put out for us today, kind of teasing Bundesliga team of the season, right? And I think we may have figured out who some of these players are. Uh, we have the left side 99 pace, 90 dribbling with the Bayern badge. A lot of people are thinking that this is Nabry. Uh, so Nabry, I think, is this card. A lot of people are saying that Royce is the one here in the middle and then Zakaria is I think somebody who could be that 93 rated with 93 defense and 97 physical that's a very that could be your front three I guess is what you could call this uh from the loading screen today so that's what people are talking about but regardless right regardless of what happens they have been absolutely juicing these team of the season cards I would expect that to be no different today headlining the promo today I would not be surprised if we have ourselves a Robert Lewandowski card that is 99 rated, 98 or 99. Uh, last year, team of the season, Lewandowski was 98 rated. And EA has been going all out with the ratings this year. So a plus three on this 96 Lewa, I think is going to push him to a 99. I think that's what EA is going to give him. And it's going to be a juiced card, right? There's a lot of cool cards and a lot of cool um, Bundesliga cards already in this game. And I think today for team of the season, Bundesliga is, I think, arguably the second most hyped up league as a, as a league as a whole uh, in FIFA. So I think that today is going to be a massive weekend for team of the seasons. And we'll talk about all the market movements and stuff uh, later on in this video. But I do want to look at a prediction, right? Because that's the first thing we want to talk about today is a just what kind of cards are coming. What can we expect, right? This is from FC Wolk 99 on Twitter. Uh, this guy right here. Um, a prediction from him. A lot of people saw this prediction this morning uh, on Twitter, and they thought it was the real team. So this is just a prediction, all right? Don't, don't, don't get that wrong. This is just a prediction. Uh, but again, this prediction was made before the um, loading screen came out today, and Zakaria with the same statistics on the loading screen. If that actually is his card, so that's the awesome prediction by uh, by Mr. Wolk right here. But uh, a 99 Lewandowski, Sancho, Werner, uh, Hummels, Havertz, Nabry, Muller. I mean, these are all very, very, very plausible cards that we could be getting in Bundesliga team this season today. A couple of them that I think are worth pointing out that would be very, very hyped and a lot of people are looking forward to are Nabry because of the amount of stat boost that he has had this year. If he gets a team of the season card, which I think he will, it's going to be cracked. It's going to be an insane card. Um, whether it is a right mid, whether it's like a striker or some sort of position change, Nabry is going to be one that a lot of people look for this promo, as well as Alfonso Davies. He had an SBC earlier this year. A lot of people love that card. And if he gets a team of the season, he's really, really good in game. A lot of people are going to want to use this card, especially because the, um, the Boateng SBC that is in FIFA, it's a flashback Boateng, the player SBC that is, is out indefinitely, um, has drawn a lot of hype as well as like Neuer cards uh, because of, you know, some some Bayern links and Bundesliga links. Uh, so this Davies card could have a lot of hype. And then Sancho, of course, Werner, and somebody who I don't see on here, but I think could possibly get in is this guy, Erling Haaland, 92 rated multiple special cards. I mean, even since joining Dortmund, I mean, this guy has had so many special cards this year in FIFA. They gave him a man of the match card. They gave him a future star. I mean, he's at informs. He's had uh, a player of the month, very overpriced player of the month. But I think this guy gets a team of the season card today. And that's going to make it interesting, right? Because in, in past team of the season, we're going to look at FIFA 19 tots. If you look back, we had Jovic last year as a striker, but most times your elite strikers in the Bundesliga are Lewandowski and Timo Werner. And we're adding a third one in there with Holland if he does get a team of the season. So I find that interesting. Uh, today, but again, I want to talk you guys through some cards that I'm interested in today market movements Maybe some investments and stuff that we can make today and also other stuff you're gonna see On the market. So right, let's say Lewandowski gets a team of the season, which I think 
he definitely has to. The year that he's having, he's having a fantastic year. Uh, he's scoring goals like an absolute machine. And Bayern are killing it. We're killing it before the whole coronavirus. But by, by the way, if you guys didn't know, Bundesliga actually starts up tomorrow on Saturday. So I'm actually excited to watch some football on Saturday. Hopefully you guys are going to tune in as well because it's going to be freaking dope to actually have football to watch again. Live sports. You'd love to see it. But anyways, Lewandowski team of the season. What kind of prices can we be looking for on day one for these cards? Now let's look at last year for kind of a price standpoint, but we also have to look at cards this year and know a lot of the team of the seasons this year are a lot cheaper than they have been in the years past because of the amount of supply that EA is putting on the market for these cards. And that's what makes um, reading these prices early on so difficult uh, because of the amount of supply that EA is putting on the market with these cards. So last year, team of the season Lewandowski started off first weekend was actually above 3 million coins, dropped off in the weekend league sell-off down to 2.5. And then of course, last year, what happened with all these cards uh, was they hit their lowest on Monday, Tuesday, rebounded into the weekend. So he was 2.7 mil and then kind of, you know, went down from there because he was just a bit overpriced then. Uh, Lewandowski's high, uh, headliner card is 550k on the X on the PlayStation, 460 on the Xbox, which this is actually up a little bit from what it was earlier this week uh, in midweek. Uh, but this is the kind of stuff you're going to want to look out for panic selling in the morning for on today, on Friday. When you're watching the market this morning, watch for panic selling on out of packs Bundesliga special cards, and especially ones that are going to get team of the seasons that a lot of people are going to need to use or want to use and maybe trying out a, a team of the season card or two uh, when the new team comes out today. Looking back at last year's squad, the links that you're going to want to think about when you're trying to put some of these cards together. Bayern Munich links are going to be key. Look how many Bayern Munich guys were in the squad last year, right? Lewandowski, Kimmich, um, I think there's a couple on the bench. Nabry. Uh, so there's actually only three, uh, but a lot of German... Dortmund and Bayern Munich links. There's a lot more Bayern Munich cards this year in FIFA. I mean, you have like Alaba Shapeshifter. You've got the Boateng SBC. You've got the Alfonso Davies SBC. Um, Lewandowski has plenty of special cards. Nabry, of course, has more specials. So uh, looking out for links to a lot of the new cards that could be coming, especially if you look at this prediction again, uh, you know, German, Bayern, and Dortmund links are going to be huge. Uh, for a lot of these cards because that's how, you know, right, especially now when a lot of people have gotten team of the seasons, right? A lot of people just got La Liga team of the seasons in their clubs. Uh, and if they're trying to make some sort of hybrid squad, strong links are key for these next coming weeks with the new leagues that come out because maybe somebody packed Ramos and Carvajal, Hall, uh, but they want to have like Dortmund as, or they want to have uh, a Dortmund player at right wing. So Sancho at right wing. They might need that Royce card or another Dortmund, maybe like a headliner Delaney would be a strong link to that um, to that Sancho at right wing because the chemistry for the like the hybrids basically is important. So that's just something to think about when you're looking at out of pack special cards today, right? Uh, look for ones that are going to get team of the seasons because a lot of the time what happens is people will sell this Lewandowski card possibly in the morning this morning. And then his new team of the season is going to come out. I would say it's going to be similar to Suarez, maybe a little bit more expensive. Um, that'll be kind of a starting place where you can kind of base on how much it would be. But if this, uh, the new 99 Lewandowski that comes out, if it is, you know, 2 million coins right away, and this card is still 550,000 coins or gets panicked a little bit, uh, then you you might see a rebound on this card. That's what we saw last week with some of the La Liga special cards, right? Messi's, uh, especially position change cards, right? Like a John and Sancho might not be the best example because a lot of his cards, if he gets a team in the season, I mean, it's going to be really juiced up. It's going to have insane stats. And, you know, he does have a position change center attack in mid, but the stats on that card and the, that's only a 30K card, right? I don't think you would see a huge movement on a card like that. Um, but just kind of look at the out of pack specials. Lewandowski is a great one. Again, we can look at Nabry as well. Just try to stick to the big time links, you know, between cards. This is actually a left wing, right? 70K for this uh, man of the match, Nabry. He was actually 55K earlier this week, and now he's up to 70K, which is pretty crazy. Um, but again, just watch the out of packs, Bundesliga stuff, German, Bayern, and Dortmund links are going to reign key. Uh, and then also, this is something that I really want you guys to look for. Um, you can make some of these buys on the out of pack special cards actually when the team comes out and you see the players in the squad last year 
Uh, there were no center backs at all. No center backs in this team this season. There were two left backs, two right backs. Actually, there, there were three left backs. Schultz, Kostic, Halstenberg, and then two right backs, the Costa and Kimmich. And there were no center backs. So what happened was there was a center back in Sule who was in community team this season. And that card absolutely exploded in price because there were no Bundesliga center backs last year. Now this year, that's an entirely different story because we have guys like Kabak. We have guys like a center back. Um, what's his name? Uh, Alaba, a center back Alaba, who might even get a center back card today. Like how much is this? How much is this card these days? It's probably, I'm probably way off in terms of price. This Kabak, yeah, he's like 100K, like 90,000 coins for this card. But there's so many Bundesliga center backs that have come out in FIFA this year. Uh, they've seemingly like, you know, we had a flashback Hummels. I mean, we've had so many Bundesliga center backs. Uh, even if some get in the team this season, uh, that's not really a thing for this year. But when the new squad comes out, right, left wings kind of interest me. Like, again, we were looking at that Navri card today, left wing position change. Um, and he's now 70,000 coins. But just look for weak spots in the team. We're probably going to have three strikers, right? I mean, we might have a striker Haaland. We might have a striker Lewandowski and a striker Werner. So those are three strikers in the team. There's not going to be a lack of people that want to, if they're going to go build a team with the new TOTS cards for Weekend League, uh, they're not going to have to go choose between many other strikers um, out of pack special cards. So maybe look at center mids, maybe some outside backs. I don't know. We have a right back Kimmich card. We have DaCosta for birthday. That could be something to look at as a possible rebound today. And then left backs as well on the market. I'm not entirely sure how many left backs we have like in on the market that are Bundesliga. So what I would do today is look on the out of pack special cards in the Bundesliga and look for those big time links. Look for pan panic selling um, as the team gets maybe leaked or as you see the team kind of revealed. However, EA decides to do that. Uh, and again, just look for like weak spots, right? If you don't see many like center mids or CDMs, uh, one way that you can actually search for these players on Footbin is go to leagues, top five, go to Bundesliga. And then from there, you can sort by position, right? So let's sort by position, CDM, CM, and CAM. Now there's probably going to be, you know, four or five players that are CM, CDM, or CAM in team of the season. Um, but just to kind of think about this and look at it, you've got an, a Kemet, Kevin Mbabu shapeshifter CDM card. Uh, we've got multiple center attacking mids that are on the market with Kai Havertz and Julian Brandt team of the season. Some of these cards are up already. Tiago team of the season. This card's up like 15,000 coins, right? Coutinho has got a center attacking mid in form. Uh, so there's a lot of center attacking mids in the Bundesliga. But this is something you kind of look for, like left backs. Who do we have? We've got Nico Schultz and David Alaba, right? So I would be very, very interested in, in those two kind of cards right here. And even Wendell with the UCL Live, I'd be, I would take a close look at cards like this, um, maybe right backs as well, because those are the positions that people really need to link in. Da Costa's 135. Da Costa is really like on the market, one of the only right backs. So I would presume that we maybe get like a, Maybe a Kimmich team of the season today. Maybe they give DaCosta a team of the season. I don't know. Um, you know, according to this prediction, there is a Hakimi team of the season card that is included. And do we have any other right backs? No, just Hakimi and Trimmel. Okay, so Hakimi and Trimmel. So that's just going to be something that you look out for. When the team actually comes out today, look for some weak spots in the team. Maybe where there's only one team of the season and it's going to be expensive for that position, for that range. That's something to look out for uh, today in terms of, you know, buying the panic selling on some of these special cards. And of course, like somebody like Halan, right? If he does not get in, you know, this guy is like 800,000 coins for his top version. This could still be a card that a lot of people want to go and get and uh, could still see a rise after 6 p.m. UK. It's all about, again, those links about the hype players and people that want to use those, right? So that's just something to look for today with the out of packs Bundesliga cards. Talking about SBC fodder as well, we're going to have lightning rounds. Again, we're going to see a lot of these cards continue to drop in price. Uh, a lot of the demand is going to go away for some of these higher rateds. I would expect them to slowly drop in price over the weekend with lightning rounds, stuff like that. You're going to see those drop. And then Bundesliga rare gold cards. You're going to start to see people buying these up by the thousands this weekend during lightning rounds. How much is Rashika? This is the guy I always check. Are these getting insta-bought? Uh, okay, not quite insta-bought, but 
there are people that are buying up these uh, Bundesliga gold rares. If you want to do this, if you want to take a little bit of risk uh, and hope that EA brings out the same upgrade SBCs on Monday, you can do that. I would just recommend getting these rares on bid during the lightning round periods. You might be able to get them on bid for like a thousand coins. I would say if you can get them for a thousand or less, that is kind of like your, your good to go zone so that you're not assuming as much risk. If you're buying them for 1.4K, I mean, I'm seriously telling you guys, so many people in this community and on you know, FIFA influencers have told their viewers to go out and buy rare gold cards for the Bundesliga and for the leagues after this, that I honestly think you might see less of a rise in these cards if and when the upgrade packs do come out on the Monday, just because so many people have invested in them, they're expecting a huge rise. And the rise just is not going to be as big as it was because you have all these people going to sell these cards on the market. So Again, if these cards get anywhere close to like, you know, nearing 2,000 coins before the actual SPC comes out, that's ridiculous. Uh, again, I think the most I would pay for a Bundesliga uh, rare gold card is like 1,000 coins, maybe 1,200 max. Um, but yeah, that's what I think you could see today on the market. And then with the out of packs team of the season cards, uh, let's say like we have three strikers that come into team of the season uh, from the Bundesliga. Like again, I talked about the Halan. Talked about the uh, Burner and the Lewandowski. You might see guys like Suarez or maybe a Benzema or maybe a striker like a Bamiyang from a past, you know, Premier League team. You might see some of these guys actually drop in price because people want to go try out the new card that is in the game, right? So that's something I would be just, you know, watching out for. Last week when the uh, La Liga Tots came in, the Bundesliga or the, the Premier League cards, excuse me, the Premier League cards actually took a hit in price, especially like a guy like Van Dyke. I mean, this guy was 2.9 million coins, right? 2.9 mil. And then all of a sudden, there are multiple new center backs that are released. And now this guy is 2.2 mil. And he just kind of dropped all week in price because you had three big time center backs and then another SBC with Militao, Diego Carlos, Varane, and Ramos that came out. So that's what I would that that's the really the thing that you can look forward to today is where the positions are sparse with special cards and where there aren't that many in the actual team of the season squad. A lot of those cards can go up. Point in point in case is right here with my Thursday flipping investments. I bought these Griezmanns at 115 to 120,000 coins before rewards on Thursday because I knew that there weren't many left wings in La Liga. There was a Hazard in form, Griezmann in form, and then the new Griezmann team of the season card. Those were like some of the only left wings in the league. Uh, and these went up a very considerable amount. Uh, somebody else, there was not a lot of strikers in La Liga on the market in like that middle tier range from 100,000 coins all the way up to like where Benzema was and Suarez was and like one over a mil in the million coin range. This Vinicius Jr. went from 320 on uh, Wednesday before rewards, sold mine at 400,000 coins. I made a lot of coins on this guy and then right backs as well because we had Carvajal, but you know, Carvajal was decently cheap, 300,000 coins. Uh, but I looked at the lower tier of right backs as well with this Emerson. This guy was 100,000 coins flat earlier in the week. Uh, and I noticed there was not a lot of right backs kind of in that price bracket. There was Emerson and there was Kappa. And he linked to the new, the new Militao that everybody wanted to go out and do, along with Diego Carlos. And he's just Brazilian. Anyway, so I went out and bought 25 of this guy, around like 105,000 coins uh, per card. And I made almost... 500,000 coins on this one card selling 105 to 130 ish uh, on 25 of these. So it's not quite 500K, I don't think, but it was close to 500K uh, on those cards. That was a that was a massive, massive uh, profit for me on the weekend. And that's the stuff that you can even do day one of the new team of the season card uh, cards that are coming out in FIFA today. So again, watch the Bundesliga specials across the board. Seriously, strikers, center mids, you know, any, any Bundesliga card that you can be looking out for. Position changes are also really, really key. Like this David Alaba center back card. Um, if he gets a center back team of the season, that's going to be very, very interesting. But if he gets a left back team of the season, you might see a card like this actually rise up a little bit. I know there's a lot of center backs, but a lot of them have been SBCs as well. So the cards on the market, even if there's a lot of SBCs, um, if there's not that many that are actually on the market, you could possibly see a rise there. And if he does get a center back card and it's absolutely insanely juiced out, I mean, people still need Bayern links. So this might be a guy you look at tomorrow. 
uh, at 140 k which is really low already for this card, uh, you might see a rise on somebody like this. So do a little bit of research. When the team comes out tomorrow, survey the team, and you should be able to see some increases in price as we head into the evening. Because again, there's going to be lighting rounds open. There's going to be, again, this is how I want to talk you guys quickly through the, the, the low price during lighting rounds, what's going to happen with the TOTS cards, and then the buyback. So what happens will be the cards will drop for the first, you know, two and a half hours or so, right? Let's pretend this is a TOTS. He's going to start up here, first hour. There's no saved packs, so it's going to be a lot like last week. They're going to drop, drop, drop. There's going to be a buyback somewhere in between the second and the end of the third lightning round. So um, what is that for you guys? Like uh, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. UK time, somewhere in there. There's going to be a quick rebound where people start to buy stuff back. The cards get really rare, and they jump up. And then they're going to probably drop into the evening, kind of like we saw last week with La Liga. That's what I would expect for the team of the season card movements on day one. So if you want to try one and you can wait a little bit, I would ex I would say wait a little as we go into the night. And maybe you can pick one up late night, Friday night into Saturday morning, and then sell it later on Saturday for a profit. So that's just something to think about with the TOTS cards as well. But that is the video today. Team of the season, Bundesliga is here. I'm stoked for it. I'm hyped to see the cards that EA bring out. I would expect an SBC and an objective as well. They've been pretty consistent with dropping those first day in FIFA. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.